Hello, my lovely wishes. It's Holly. Welcome to Dandelion Stitches. Welcome, welcome. Welcome if you're new. Uh, welcome if you've been here for since day one. I just, thank you, thank you. The comments that you guys left on yesterday's video, I just, I can't even. I thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, I'll stop now. <laughs> But you're awesome. Thank you. Um, before I, we've got a little fabric haul here. But before uh, I get into this, I have to tell you a funny story, and I hope that I can tell it in a way because it might have been one of those you have to see it kind of things. But um, outside this window, and when I turn to to press, it's here. So I'm looking like right out the window when I turn to press, and uh, we have a pin oak tree out in front and it's a big tree and it is full of acorns so it is also full of squirrels and chipmunks did you know chipmunks climbed trees i did not i don't know why i but anyway um and we've got this like wooden planter thing at the bottom that we have hostas growing out of and it's kind of a, a little um a little city and there's a lot of busyness going on down there. There are uh, gophers, 13 line ground squirrels that have dug a little hole on one side of the planter and then underneath and then up the other side. So they like have a little super highway <laughs> that goes underneath. Um, and the chipmunks just bury their stuff in their, how do they all remember where they bury their stuff? The squirrels and the chipmunks? I, I don't know, must be instinctual. Anyway, so the house, is you know the squirrels were will frequently come down the roof of the house and get on the tree and do their thing and gather up and then then go back um but occasionally they'll be in the backyard and they'll come running around the front and um as i'm, I'm looking out the window the squirrel comes a whipping around the, the corner of the house and is heading for that tree and it is they do dandelion is not here right now they don't know that though so they think that if they get around she's going to be there so this squirrel was running for just all it had and as soon as it hit as it jumped to get onto that planter a chipmunk popped up <laughs> i'm not lying i'm not even making this up a chipmunk popped up and was going to jump off of the planter and they collided in midair, like boom. And the squirrel just sort of fell, but the chipmunk went ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop, and then landed. He was like ass over tea kettle. Just, I have, I was just, oh my gosh, I've never seen anything like this. It was that, and then they, they shook it off and, and carried on. I mean, the, the speed that the squirrel was going and the squirrel was so much bigger than the chipmunk. I mean, he really literally could have killed that chipmunk, but uh, I'm sure the chipmunk saw stars for quite some time, but oh my gosh, I love wildlife. I just, I could sit and watch the world go by out this window, oh, all the time. But uh, anyway, uh, it was hilarious and, and, um, death defying <laughs> so um today i'm i have a small um favor call to share with you and um so let's just skip to the other camera <laughs> now that i've put squirrels and chipmunks in your head and let's look at fabric i am always looking for the right purse now, I will, I will completely admit that I do have a purse problem. For some women, it's shoes. For me, it's purses. I love a new purse, but um, I need them to be pretty specific. Not very big, not very heavy, because the bigger the purse is, the more stuff I'm going to shove in it. And um, it needs to be crossbody or a handle. Um, I can't hold it over my shoulder. You know, I have herniated discs in my neck, and it just makes for a problem. So I was thinking, well, why don't I just make one? I haven't found the right pattern yet, but I found some fabric. This fabric may look somewhat familiar to you. Um, I did that little pouch. It came in the Sewers Club uh, project box, and I made the little pouch 
out of it. This is linen. Um, it, it's, and it was so fun to, to work with. And it's just, um, you know, it's just enough of a neutral that it, it wouldn't be too crazy, but you know, it's got pansies and dandelions and, um, I, I really, really, really like it. So that, that one is a possibility. So while I was hunting for this, I came across these. And these are bark cloth, which is not as heavy as canvas, but also heavier than quilting cotton. Um, and it's got kind of a, the, the you can see the um, weaving in it fairly clearly. <clears throat> I, I, I don't, I'm not sure about these colors. I got this one and then I got this one. Pink is not generally my go-to, but I did really like it. And I like that it is not a like, ooh, pink Barbie. Um, it's more of a, you know, rusty kind of pink. Um, so I got a couple of yards of each one of these just in case I think they might make good purses. I, I, I don't know. This one's scared. This one makes me go right to the seventies. It's like, I'm pretty sure that we had a refrigerator this color, <laughs> um, but I, I do like them a lot. So we'll see where we go with those, all of those. Okay. Uh, I think one fabric brand that we have probably never spoken much about on this channel is Alexander Henry. And every time I go to say Alexander Henry, my head goes Alexander Hamilton because I love Hamilton and I always just want to go Alexander Hamilton. Da, da, da. If you've never seen it, it, you know, won't, you won't get it. But anyway, um, Alexander Henry fabric is, is wild and wacky. And if you want something crazy, like dinosaurs for kids or weird skeletal mer people or um, Day of the Dead things. Um, it's not everything he does or Alexander Henry do, produces is not creepy, scary, weird, but they do have it. So if motorcycle stuff, I mean, really, <laughs> you name it, they they know how to take the whole fabric thing and take it to a whole new level. I adore this fabric. Um, I don't even know what I got it for, but um, this just cracks me up. These and these guys over here are like are like playing the music, and um, this one over here, she's got some wild hair and she's got starfish starfish boobs, and I it's just. You know what? It's just creative and funny, and um, I just really, I really like it. Um, <clears throat> this piece, uh, I have had that in this piece for a while. The rest of them are all new, but um, this is all I have left of this. But it is so lovely. Look at these. They're like, like Asian cats, and they're in the water fishing. And this beautiful one in the middle, she's on this tortoise. And then there's, um, let's see, she's over here on a, on a koi and she's playing a flute. And there's, there's, um, one down here. She's also on a koi. It looks like perhaps she's reading a scroll. They're, they're just, they're lovely. They're just so they're so intricately beautiful that I, it's, there's another one playing a flute over here. I, I made my daughter a, um, a little tote bag out of this fabric. So this is like all of the sides of Alexander Henry. They do quite, quite wild and crazy. They also do beautiful, um, the, the, I don't even know why I got these to tell you the truth, except that they're mushrooms, but, um, They've got these funky 60s kind of mushrooms with this one's got a teal background and then this one's got a black background. Cute for a tote bag, cute for, you know, little, little fun things. Be real cute to fussy cut some of them. So, <clears throat> but my favorite, absolutely favorite thing that Alexander Henry puts out is the Gastleys. And if you've never met the Gastleys, 
I am so eager and happy to be the one to introduce you to the Gastleys. The Gastleys are a family. Uh, I, I think of them as sort of the Adams family. They're, um, they're deep in ennui. He's, he's looking very sad. Uh, this kid over here has got nothing but trouble on his mind. Um, she's my favorite. This one is, uh, shoot, ghastly. It'll say it here in a minute. Or not. Oh, yeah, this is a ghastly craft. So, um, one of these days I'm going to do something with her and to put on the sewing room wall because she's just, she's just the best. I mean, she's got those scissors and she's going to make something happen with those scissors. And, um, there's also like, a like on this side, I think that this kid just put this guy in a cage and then this is another littler person with the scissors. But I, I want you to notice that she's holding the scissors with the blade down. I don't know if you ever taught your kids when you're carrying your scissors around, you got to hold them with the blade down that she's, she's got it. And then there's some just graphic things. And, um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that this is still in print and there's a, a there's are there are more like coordinating fabrics, but, um, I was just in the mood for some ghastly, so I did a little ghastly shopping. So, um, let's see. Um, this is also another one of my favorites. Where That could be fall and, and a little bit scary, but not really. It's a, um, a spider web that's got all these moths. Uh, this one looks like a dragonfly. And if you can see, <laughs> you can see his face. Look at his little eyes. He's like, oh, 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 this, this is not good. This is not good at all. Um, so love that. And then his, the latest line is, uh, I think it's called Ghastly Voyage. Let's see if I can find. Oh no, a ghastly getaway. So it's, there's, there's planes and, and balloons. And look at this chick in the balloon. She's got all kinds of stuff, but black. And then there's ships. And, um, let's see if there's anything on the other side. They're very specific. They're not the kind of fabrics that you just, you know, cut up and throw in a, in a, a quilt. You kind of do a quilt around them. This, this dude, um, looking real dapper, but he's got the Dracula collar on. Um, they're just these ladies. And everyone, everyone in the Gastleys is in a bad mood, just in general, no, just not happy. So the, some of the coordinating ones that go with the Gastly getaway are um, these bees on these daisies. And again, these bees, these are those uh, jerky yellow jacket bees that come out at this time of the year. And if you're outside and you've got like a, a drink that's open and they will literally fight you for it. You know, those jerky ones, that's, I think that's what those are. So, um, and also it has this one, which I think is adorable, um, is just uh, suitcases. Look at the cute suitcases. Just, what a, if you had a friend who was a traveler and um, what a cute, and it comes with, and I got the white background, but it comes in a lot of different colorways. And then, um, let's see, this is a blender in that same, ghastly. This one's called the Ghastly Cluster. <laughs> and then there are some trees. This one is a Ghastly Grove. And then finally we have two that are kind of cute. 
uh, Halloween-y sort of with the funny witches. And they have um, all these different potions. <laughs> this one up here is charm number five. There's Hell's Broth, there's Moon Dust, there's Love number f number nine. There's Eye of Bat, Moony Dust. They're just cute. They're just cute fabrics. That, like I said, they're very specific, but um, I enjoy them. I have made ki my kids, grandkids, um, Halloween totes out of, not these specifically, but out of Alexander Henry fabric. So it's pretty fun. So that's it. I'll see you at the other camera. So yeah, that was random. I'm, I'm running out of, out of stuff to share right now. Um, I keep getting emails. Your subscription box is on its way. Your subs and I'm not, I'm, it's not here. So hopefully by tomorrow we'll have a, a, something to open and judge. But at the moment I got nothing. So, um, <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed uh, a little bit of Alexander Henry and Alexander Hamilton uh, and the Gastleys. I mean, you can't. They have their own Instagram. Seriously. Awesome. Awesome stuff. So uh, I hope everybody's good. It's uh, not, not, not the nicest day today, but it's okay. It's cool. I feel, I usually get kind of motivated on days like this. I hope everybody's good. Um, yeah, I opened up all my email and uh, there's a lot of people that have put in an entry for the giveaway. So, yay. Awesome. So be well, be safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.